there everyone and welcome to another Factorio mod spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me back again. Uh, now I know we did miss last week's unfortunately. Uh, I just had so much stuff going on in my life. It's a little bit crazy right now with the holidays and some other stuff. Um, but I'm happy to be back and I'm doing a spotlight that has been requested multiple times by um, one of my longtime viewers and that is the advanced fluid handling mod. Uh, now there is a fair bit to this mod. I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate every single part of it, um, but a lot of it's fairly self-explanatory. I'm just gonna give some examples here and you can uh, pretty much work it out from there, honestly. Uh, but what this does is add a bunch of different and in some ways definitely better ways to handle your fluid uh, and, and such like that. So uh, we do have, still have the vanilla pipes here that you can do, you know, whatever you can do with them um, in vanilla. And you know, just that those aren't changed. Uh, however, you do have to research fluid handling first to be able to unlock the advanced fluid handling. And there's three different tiers of uh, like pipes for the advanced fluid handling. Um, so with just the normal vanilla research, we get um, you know all of the special pipes like level one, and then um, the so this is actually sorry advanced fluid handling um, is a separate research from fluid handling. Um, and then you have advanced fluid handling tier two and then tier three, which are just like, they're the same pieces, but just better. So it's not like it doesn't like unlock, uh, like different types of things, just higher versions of them essentially. Um, so once you do that, uh, you can get this menu and there's a bunch of stuff here and it is fairly overwhelming, honestly. Uh, but it, th th there's a few main parts that you're probably going to use most. Um, and I've kind of demonstrated them. So the really cool thing about this is it lets you just kind of send fluid in whatever direction you want without doing all kind of pipe spaghetti mess and dealing with wacky fluid stuff. Um, so uh, I think the things you'll probably use the most here are these uh, four here and maybe this one as well. Uh, so we have a one-to-one -one forward pipe. Um, so it, it does give a bit of a description. So it says one surface connector to one underground connector, um, which is 11 tiles, um, forward. Press control R to rotate underground port. And I'll demonstrate this stuff as well. Uh, and then a one-to-two perpendicular. So it's a one surface connector to two inline underground connectors um, perpendicular. And then you can rotate it, the ports with control R and, and that hotkey persists throughout all of these. And you have a one to three forward pipe and a one to four pipe. And then you have the higher versions of them. And then we also have different valves here, which I think is probably the other thing you'd use the most. An overflow valve, uh, a top up valve, and then a check valve. Um, so if we go ahead and show a demonstration here. So this is a one to, do per, one to two perpendicular pipe. So it can only run, well, perpendicular, which means it cannot go down, um, but it can go uh, like left to right. Um, so this is where it enters. We're just using an infinity pipe here. Um, so this is where it enters and you can see that I'm just sending fluid like all over the place with this with just three pipes, which is super nice. Um, so this goes over to here and I've just done this to demonstrate that it does in fact like actually go through. Um, so this goes, goes up and then, so I have a split and then it continues onward and goes over here. Um, now you can do that of course in vanilla, it's just a bit messier. Uh, but the other cool thing with this is you can just change the direction of this on the fly without tearing it all up. Um, so you can see if you look at the arrows, um, they're kind of blurry here, but this one, uh, it's just kind of a, an elbow, a turn. You can see the arrow here and then the arrow up here. Um, so obviously if I connect, no, nothing works here, right? Like, and, and I mean, I can't even go this way cause I don't have it set that way. But if we hold control R or hold control and hit R, I can now just adjust this on the fly and send another split out this way. And I could just leave that one or I can be like, okay, well, here's where I actually want this. Um, you could actually go vertical, I suppose, if you want to. So basically it just means it can only go one direction. Um, and then I can do this. So it's just super nice to be able to do this on the fly and adjust things how you want to without tearing it all up and rebuilding stuff. Um, so that's how that one works. Next, we have the one to three forward pipe. Um, again, we're just using this and you can see that this is actually, now it does look a little funky, um, just graphically, but it does still work. Um, so this goes down and then this actually does have the ability to go two different directions if we want. So I don't know, maybe we have two builds that are using uh, lube or something or three builds even. Um, so you can see I have one pipe going and then it splits a T junction 
and goes left and goes right with just four pipes and that's it uh, which is super super nice and you know you again you could adjust this so if you just don't want anything going this way you could just um, sorry that's the wrong hotkey there we go so you could just go left and down if you want or you could go I mean that just disconnects the whole thing or you could go this way and just cut off that supply if you want etc etc um, so that's just really nice. Uh, and then lastly, here with this, we do have the one to four pipe. And this is, as you might imagine, just splitting it four different directions. So it starts here, comes down, uh, and then it goes every single direction. Uh, again, you could, um, you know, you could go ahead and like change stuff. Now this one doesn't really change because it's just four. So, it, you know, it's just always gonna be four, uh, but you could change the direction this is actually moving like that. So, you know, just with your normal rotate key, so you can actually send it off in four entirely different directions, which is really, really nice. Uh, now, we do have our valves here. So I stuck a overflow valve, and these are adjustable too, by the way. So we have this full, basically full input coming in. You can see it is um, 16 to 40, which is 60%, um, but we can adjust it. And now out here it's full just because it's filling up the pipe, but I'm gonna put a tank down and you'll see that it is capping the flow of this to you know the 60% um, but to adjust this you use your um, plus minus keys on your numpad now if you don't have a numpad or you want to change it you could just change it in your hotkeys um, but I could like lower this so I'm just mousing over and hitting the minus key on my numpad um, to 50% and then to 40% and 30% 20 you can only go down to 10 by the way um, so that's like it, it's it's a little bit different than what you think so or what you what I might think initially is it's 10 only 10 percent limiting it's not 10 percent of the total flow because you can see the, the amount actually went up um, so it's only limiting it by 10 percent um, but if we go like this so let's just go back up to 70 to see you know more drastic effects um, so 80 percent um, so if we tear this up and we stick down a tank here and I'll just do this, and then we'll do this. You can see that uh, this is like letting the, not very much through. Um, so if we go ahead, I, I actually broke it is, is what I did. <laughs> I actually broke this one, I think. Um, we'll go ahead and place it down. I had it working in my test, and then it just didn't work. Um, so that goes through here, and then this should work theoretically. Okay, well, I had it working, I promise, guys. I apologize for that. Um, but you can see, you, you would adjust it, and then um, and then it would go ahead and work theoretically. Um, this, I think, maybe just got a little goof, so I'm actually just going to tear this up here and do that, and then this is coming through. Okay, so maybe we just had to readjust some stuff. Um, sorry about that. So if we go ahead and adjust this down a little bit to, say, 60, and then I go ahead and tear this up and go into here. You can see it is limiting it, so it's not fully compressing, even though it's coming in mostly. Um, so you can see it is limiting it a bit here. Um, so that's that's the valve, and then you have your other two valves. Um, so it is a little finicky, as you saw happen there. Um, but overall, this fantastic mod. I really, really like all the different things you can do with it. Um, you can play around with stuff like there's all kind of other stuff. There's underground mini pumps if you want to throw one of those in. Uh, there's like swivel joints and uh, these underground L extensions. So if you just want extensions, there's just like straight extensions too, if you, if you want that, um, that you could just kind of use as like an extension. Um, you can play around with it, but tons of different stuff. The spotlight's already uh, fairly long for a spotlight, so I'm not really gonna cover everything else or anything else, but uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, in terms of settings here, we can take a quick peek in the mod settings, which there are none, so very quick. And uh, there you go, there is advanced fluid handling. Tons of options, awesome, makes you do way less spaghetti, and uh, just really cool mod. Link in the description to the mod portal page where you can check it out if you're interested. If you did enjoy, a like is appreciated. If you're new, welcome, and uh, feel free to subscribe, keep up with future content, and uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.